Welcome to this session on setting up DearSync in just under 10 minutes. So we're first going to have a look at the Active Directory before we do anything else and just make sure that we've got the correct domain name for our Office 365 tenancy under the UPM properties in AD. If you haven't got that in there yet, um, you'll need to add it. So you just go to Active Directory, Domains and Trusts, um, and you can add it quite easily. So in this, inside here, I can just right click on and go to properties and then I can add in my alternative um, domain name and when I've done that I just need to make sure that I apply it to all the users that are going to move across because I'll get an error for every user that hasn't got that applied. So back in Office 365 if you go to the admin panel and then to the users tab and active users. See at the top, there's an option to set up Active Directory synchronization. So we need to set that up and we need to go through the process. I'm actually doing this from the domain controller, but you can do it from um, just a normal network connected machine. So these are the prerequisites. The one, if you do it from a domain controller, the one you need to make sure you've got installed is .NET Framework 3.5 or higher. Um, you can just add that as a roller feature. And then press next and start the scan. So this scan will fail if you don't have that .NET framework installed. So we just follow the prompts, run that, and this will just do a quick evaluation and scan to make sure there's no problems. If there are any problems, you just need to correct those um, before we go ahead. Okay, so that's been successful. I can see there's nothing in this report. So I just close this tab and the page should update. With the results from that. So it should say everything was successful. Yep, so it's completed. Press on the next button and it will tell me the details of my Active Directory at the moment. So a very, very small Active Directory, just a few objects in it. And then it's going to add the internal DNS records to match up the domains. And it will also check that you own the domain that is in your Active Directory inside 365. So verify the ownership of those domains. So you see the top domain name there, um, cdb.local, uh, that's just the one I used to set up Active Directory in the first place. Um, the other one is the alternative name that I did afterwards, which is my Office 365 domain, and that one is working correctly, although the local one isn't supported. So I'm going to press next on here. So it's given me some options to just clean up my environment, check everything before I set up the synchronization. So I'm going to do that by da downloading the tool. And this is a nice little free tool. It takes you straight to the link to download it. And in here I can see any issues which might arise, things like uh, users or objects with the wrong UPN attached to them. So with that uh, cdb.local domain rather than my cloudesignbox.uk domain. So when I check out my um, domain, I can see there's a few accounts here, a few objects with the wrong UPN attached to them. They've still got my old .local account. So this gives me a chance to just edit these. So I'm just going to update these records so they've all got the right domain. Uh, if you had lots of these, you'd probably use a PowerShell script to update these. You wouldn't do them one by one in the editor like I'm doing now. So I've set that to edit and it's going to update all of those records. And then when I go back to query it, it's empty, so everything now is okay and cleaned up. So then I would go back to that page again, press next, and now it's asking me to run the Azure Active Directory Connect tool. So this is uh, what replaced um, DearSync. So there's just a few steps to go through, agree to terms and conditions, and then I'm just going to use the Express settings um, to quickly sync up everything. Um, you can always change uh, those settings afterwards. So I'm going to connect to my Azure AD, so that's my Office 365 um, admin account. It's now asking me to connect to my local Active Directory. So you need to use a local account here. 
So um, if you use one that's not in the enterprise admin group, like this account here, you will get an error appear. So it needs to be in the uh, enterprise admins group. So I'm just going to use the domain administrator, which is in that group. And that should then connect. And then it will take a few minutes to configure uh, and install. So when that's finished, um, we can go back to our um, setup. Just go to next. And you may find that you might get a few errors and you actually get an email of those errors sent to your email address. Um, and it's just telling me to check my active users. So there's some errors there. I'm going to finish the process and go look and see what's actually happened to my active, uh, to my users in groups. So if I go back into the admin panel inside Office 365, and go back to users and active users, hopefully we'll see some synced with Active Directory users. Okay, so you can see there's some in there have been synced with Active Directory. Um, one of the reasons I had an error was because I had a user in AD and in Office 365 with the same username. So that has caused an error, so that's why I had the error. Um, two of those users are the same, but it still brought up all the other accounts. Um, it still syncs that up despite the errors. So quite quick to set it up. Um, there, there are a few complications which you may have um, in your Active Directory setup, but as long as you follow that process, hopefully those should be fairly clear um, as you go along. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to us if you want more Office 365 tips.